I'm Hanan. I'm Lena. Welcome back to the Obnoxiously Pleasant Podcast. We are just wrapping up week three of Ramadan. Yes. How's it I'm, going? I'm ready. I'm, I'm Me too. A, a lot better than, than week two. <laughs> than week two, sure. I agree. I totally I mean, agree. It's, I'm still struggling. I'm still not sleeping enough, but alhamdulillah. Yeah. Like it's, uh, you know, it's, I think it's mental too. Like there's only one Absolutely. week left. So you're mm-hmm. like, it's okay. It's almost, we're, like, we're, we're in the home there. stretch here. We're, we're almost the home there. Stretch. And then Eid is coming. Eid Woo-hoo! is coming. So that's very exciting. Um, it is very exciting. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. Are you? No. I'm not. No. But okay. but that's but that's the beauty of Ramadan, right? It feels like so fast and so slow all at the same time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I sent you this uh, TikTok videos of this lady. She's Egyptian and she's like all those people saying, "Oh, haram Ramadan aja rahab surah, we're going to miss him." It's like she those are the people that are who have suhoor and then sleep until iftar all and then- <laughs> day. Right, and then sleep. Not all like day. the rest of us who <laughs> have jobs and exactly. are stressed out, and and exactly. no, but it's okay. Honestly, I will say, like, yes, week three has definitely been better than week two. Week two, yeah. I think we were both extremely exhausted and tired because you're kind of still trying to find your footing and your groove and stuff. Week yeah. three has not been bad, and I can't like I seriously cannot believe how fast it went by. It really did. Like, yes, it was exhausting and tiring, but it really yeah. did not feel like it was like a hundred years long or anything, you know? No, you're right. You're and I think also like um January like, felt longer than Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But right? I think in general, in general, it's uh for us, like people like me and you, where we're always doing stuff, we're always on the mm-hmm. go. Like the days go by fast anyway. But like this exactly. is just an added layer <laughs> of things you gotta do. Um but like I said, I've said this before on the previous episodes, my thing is just so hood. That's what kills me. Yeah, you know, that it's, it's hard. like everything else is fine. Like today, I actually feel this is the first day that I, I get thirsty because I didn't get, have enough water yesterday. Yeah. So like I I feel it today. You know, I'm not tired, I'm not hungry, but like my mouth is dry. Usually, I'm good with water. Like I I try to hydrate before. Yeah, for me, I can get through anything hold. except for the lack of sleep. That's it. That's what kills yeah. me. It's the lack of sleep. Everything else I can get through just fine. I have no yeah. issue. Power yeah. through. I mean, you know me. Exactly. Power through. Yeah, just yeah, not yeah. power through lack of sleep. Yeah, I mean, we we almost canceled this today. <laughs> We're like, let's do it tomorrow. But then after I had everything set up, you're like, I'm like, okay, at least at least she told me before I put any kind of makeup, makeup on. Makeup on, it's fine. I know. And then she's like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it today. I'm like, okay, you fine. You know what? Honestly, honestly, it's because we film on Fridays and Fridays we're both working. And so we're trying to wrap up as many things as we can so that yeah. we can get some time to do this and then return back and finish whatever work we were doing. So her and I right now, we're on a lunch break. Yeah, I so see you're gonna you know if my boss is watching this, you know, it's it's my lunch break, okay? <laughs> like leave me. That's all. what I just said. It's your lunch break. <laughs> it's your anyway, lunch break. Um so the last time we spoke, we I was telling you about the the Syrian uh, show that yes. I got addicted to. So and now Lena got everybody... <laughs> Lena told me, You need to watch this. You need to watch it. I was already had other things I needed to watch or I was watching. Nope. I decided Lena told me she was like, Oh, it's such a great show, you're gonna love it. I'm I finished like what 35 episodes, which was yeah, season one. Yeah, but the one. first night, the first night I told you about like what it was 10 30. You she <laughs> got through like 10, 10 episodes, episodes epi- like 10, 10 episodes, 10 episodes, 10 episodes. This the first they're night, very short. Her. So here's the thing they're very short. Let's start with that. Let's be realistic here. They're short, yeah. they're not like the Arus Beirut episodes, which are like an hour long or something almost. Yeah, but tell people like what Muselsel, what the Muselsel is called. Oh, so we are watching a Syrian drama called Harat al Qubba. Okay, so Harat al-Qubba or Harat al-Ubba, depending on how you pronounce it, um, it means like the neighborhood of the dome or the dome neighborhood. So essentially there's a dome, something with a dome that was, you know, that's what Mm -hmm. people told the neighborhood by. It takes place at the very end of the Ottoman Empire or the Ottoman rule. So the show starts in 1914 with... uh, um, men getting Syrian men getting drafted into the Safar. It wasn't just Syrians it, though. Like it was like the whole Levant well, area. Like yeah. The, no, no, no. What but but the oh, show Oh in the show, so, sorry. Say my bad. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. My Stay bad. with me. Stay with me here. <laughs> Stay with me. All right. The show is I'm focused fasting, on okay? the Syrian yeah the Syrian men from mm-hmm. the neighborhood of Harat al Kuppa getting drafted into the Safar Barlik. And the Safar Barlik are like defines the, the chunk of time during the Ottoman rule where uh the Ottoman Empire, which is what Lena was just saying, like imposed a draft on Syrian, Kurdish, like I think basically Levantine, Levantine men to go off and fight for the Ottoman Empire, like against their will. And so many people were, so many people just, you know, died 
without reason. Mm-hmm. But we can address a lot that of later. Hunger. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of hunger. Anyway, the, like, the that's point when like the, the Lebanon famine took place. And anyways, yeah. That's besides the point. That basically that's where that, that's the time period that the show is focused on. Like it starts in 1914, and eventually the show carries you through the fall of the Ottoman Empire and the Syrians, like you know, gaining rule of their country. But the show is so interesting from the perspective of like the clothes that the people wear, the design of the actual, um, the design of the actual, like the mise en scène, like the set design. Mm-hmm. Um, I I I love the clothes though. I'm not gonna lie. Me too. I love clothes. Yeah. Um, the story though, the story is so well written. I mean, mm-hmm. the dialogue. The, the dialogue hold is on. amazing. Hold on, I'll tell you who the um who the I'll tell you who the writer is if you give me a second here. Um, it's directed by a woman, Ru- Russia. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's directed. It's directed by. Oh, is it? Is it Osama, Osama Kokash? So. Mm. Apparently, one of my one of my Syrian friends told me that um, he was not pro the production of the series because he is anti regime. And oh. They decided to produce his story anyway. What? I had yeah. no idea. Isn't that crazy? Wow. I had no idea either. She told me I'd have to verify, but like she's a pretty good. But source. I don't. I don't remember that. I don't think he does. He have credits in the in the, in the, the is his name in, in the credits? I don't see his I'd name in the to, credits. I, I'd have to look. It says the series is written by Osama Kokash. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about it is it's very like the dialogue. The dialogue between the characters is so well written and so well it done. Is, I love it. You know, that's that's what makes me like. That's what made me keep watching. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 honestly, you also have like Abbas and Nuri, which is like a really, really strong. Oh my strong god, amazing yeah. Syrian actor. Dude, and the... what's her name? Uh, Sulafa Mahmoud. Holy yes. crap, dude! I know that she's, lady. She's great. She needs to win some sort of award for this performance. Like, yeah, wow. I know taking taking politics out of this. This was a really well done show. Yes, <laughs> I'm good. yes, yes. Let's not yeah. get pol- look. I'm just watching it for the for the entertainment. Me too. I'm not watching Me too. it for any. Like- I I also <laughs> like the guy who plays um who plays Ghazi. He's an excellent actor too. He's a great actor, but he's so goddamn annoying. God, I hate his character <laughs> on the on the show. I know. Yeah, but he's a great actor. actor. Yeah, yeah, he's a great. Sometimes he, really he over. Is. I agree. He, he overdoes it with the eyes, but I guess it's just part of his. Uh, you mean yeah. this? Like yeah. the I don't know, just like the evilness. Um. So yeah. So the, I love. I love the characters and the storyline and the dialogue. I think the dialogue I've never seen a Syrian musalsal from that like like I think I agree. Call it be ashami. What is it? What are they like those stories? Like the stories about like old Syria, old Damascus, old like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, never yeah. been like the dialogue has never been this good. Like the the I, writing has never been this good. Right. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I I really really well. I'm still continuing to enjoy it. Apparently, there's a yes. season three, so we may not even get what we need the closure we need at the season no, no, i think they will they will close a lot of things you know did you see okay, yesterday's you not, episode what about the box the box did not close until until season two i know but did you see yesterday's two. episode i did see i'm all caught up all the way caught up dude what the hell like like did you like <laughs> is he gonna just send her back <laughs> no did you not see today's episode? Because I already saw today's no, episode too. No, I didn't see today's episode. Please don't tell me. Oh my God. That's not good. That means I know what happened. Oh my God. Don't tell me anything. Do I'm not, not tell me anything. anything. Okay. Okay. Subject change. Now that you but know that he, Lena and I but... are watching this show, it's a wonderful <laughs> show. Thanks to Lena. Neither her or I have decided to keep up with our, um, what is it? No, our, no. I'm still our... keeping up. I'm on track. I'm still our on goal, track. Our goal of not watching shows. Oh no, that definitely I that just went yeah, out the that just whoosh. me and Raya just finished Babel Hara season two yesterday. Oh, that's good. At least everything yeah, she, is there though. Yeah, so she was like totally like the she totally loved it. She's like, oh my god, she's like, when can we watch season three? I'm like, I don't know, girl. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> Not right you now. Know? Yeah, but she's she's picking up a lot of Arabi. I mean, it's Syrian yeah, Arabi, but still, like, it's very similar. Air Arabi is Arabi. You know that's it's that's true. actually one thing that it's like it, that I think is really really important is that you know watching stuff like this with the kids it's mm-hmm. good for them like they may not realize yeah. but it really is good for them oh absolutely anyway. absolutely and then baddy like i said before like he only he only he's like he'll be sitting like on this desk on his computer like playing a game while me and i watch but like it's always like right there in front of him but it's in the background so he, and he can hear yeah, it and then and he'll be like oh my god why it? is he hitting her <laughs> oh my god why is she <laughs> why is she scream like he only like 
like you know chimes in when it's something crazy is happening you yeah, know yeah, yeah, and then yeah, he's like yeah. when is Abu Isam and, and, and Ibn Isam gonna get back together they're too cute I want him to get back to I'm like listen it's the whole season like this I'm like exactly. you gotta get over exactly. it no but like That's I think so it's good funny. like I, I watch with them because I want them to like the more they hear Arabi and you know it's they get used to it and it'll, it'll be easier yeah. for them I think it helps agreed you know? agreed agreed um, yeah the other thing I wanted to say is like there's a couple of things that I was looking at and like apparently not all of them go on YouTube and like people asking me to like pay a subscription I'm like I have enough subscriptions I have Apple TV pay a subscription and I have Hulu, for what and I have like I don't know like I'm trying to watch there's a couple of websites I went to because there was a oh yeah, and, like, yeah there is funny thing. so there's YouTube has its own like subscription service and so we oh, have no like, no it, it's fine that's not what I'm saying but I'm saying like I'm not gonna buy an Arabic subscription service too I have oh, like yeah, five yeah, yeah, yeah. already <laughs> I'm like I oh, have yeah. five different subscriptions I'm I have an Arabic add. subscription I have an Arabic and I actually really enjoy it it's only Which like 8 99 a month I have Shahid okay so do you like it I do. It's so worth it. They okay. have really See, good no, pictures I'm not, I'm not going to commit. You know why? Because I'm like, we need to focus on us creating content, not watching content. Okay? So I'm not going to do it. You know? I'm That's like, this, is, this is like a sign from God. Like, no, I'm not. And it's not about the $9. So, Allah, you know me. Like, I spend, like, whatever. Okay? But I'm just <laughs> like, if I do this. You're like, let me tell all the world that it's not about the $9. <laughs> no, it's not. Because if I do this, you no, know, but I know I'll be you watching, mean. like, one I after the I'm mean. like, no. I, I don't want to, like, do that to myself. You know, I guess. Whatever. Are you watching anything on uh, like uh, American TV? No, not right now. I, I yeah, don't have neither. bandwidth. I do not yeah. have the bandwidth. Seriously, I think maybe once once I finish the show, but it's gonna go mm -hmm. like well in Taid. Now that it's probably like I think it'll be episodes. another thirty five episodes too. Oh God, I can't. Give us. I I, I felt so bad for him in yesterday's episode. Like he's standing there and he has like he looks so broken. I felt so bad for him. Abolized. You know, uh, uh, yeah, but. I guess those were those were the times, right? Like that's true. You know, that's the thing. That's the thing. Like women, I mean, I was telling Raya had zero we rights. So bad. I know. And it's just the call the I don't, you know, I don't want to get into that. But like I was telling Raya, I'm like, you know, this is this is, you know, she was asking a lot of questions about like Babel Hara and like how the women yeah. are and how the guys are. And she's like, I would not want to be living during that time. And I'm like, girl, uh, yeah, you I don't mean her. I don't blame her. That would be me too. I would not want like, to be living too in those much. times. She, She's yeah, like, man. that is too much, you know? Too much. She's right. She's absolutely yeah. right. And so, she didn't yeah. understand. She didn't understand how, like, you can be engaged to someone, but you can't see them. <laughs> She's like, how is that possible? <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> because, honestly, it's true. You're just like, what? You, but you it's, but like... I was telling her. I was telling her Islamically that's not the case. I'm like, this yeah, is yeah, just yeah, culture. Yeah. I'm this like, was you have culture to know. and it was like yeah. the way it was back then. And yeah. it's fine. Tell her, tell yeah, her yeah, it's yeah. it really like truly it's fine. It, we would never do that to her. We would never let that happen to her. Oh, she knows. She knows. She, but I just, I get a kick. Like I wanted to record her just what, her getting her reactions from some of the, sh the stuff that happens. And then like, like, I don't know if you remember Babel Hara. It's been so long. But like with it, has Fidial, been, it has been really long. You remember like Isam's first wife and her mom, she was so like like yeah, nasty yeah, yeah. to them. Yeah. And then she's yeah. like, Shufti, yesterday she's like, she deserved it. She's like, I'm sorry, it's not Lutfia's fault that he's getting married again, but it's all her mom's fault. <laughs> she's like, Why did she ruin his life like that? And I'm like, damn girl, you and got an opinion on this. The fact that she's saying this, you're like, this is a problem. <laughs> Whatever. And anyway, we're having fun. But yeah, like I said, after Iftar, we just kinda it's nice though. It's it's a nice like yeah. bonding moment, like for it you is. and for her and for you and the kids and stuff. And it so is, it is. You know, for me, it's after great. Iftar, the kids and I like watch TikTok. Okay, I, you know that's the thing. I haven't been on TikTok and I haven't even posted anything for it. And I'm sorry, I just don't have it in me. I don't have any energy. I just yeah, don't. no, it's really hard. It's really you know, really hard. I haven't been watching. I haven't been on TikTok at all. Actually, no, we I don't usually know watch happening. recipes. We watch a lot of recipes. Let's, I'll tell you what's going on on TikTok. We usually watch a lot of recipes on TikTok. That's what we speaking. Uh, Speaking of recipes, what are you making today? Or are you oh, going today out we're, tomorrow? Today we're going out. Thank God. Where are you we're going? Invited, we're invited to a friend's house today. For oh, okay. okay. So yeah, it's a bunch of families. Today and tomorrow. I don't oh, have to worry cool. about food until Sunday. And then I'll that's worry about nice. Sunday when I when I make it to Sunday. Lucky you. I know. I have right? to make something tomorrow. I don't know what I'm making. Like today, I yeah, have leftovers. I'm like, finish the food we have. I'm done. You know the positive thing? About hmm. going back to TikTok, the positive thing is we finally broke like a thousand people on TikTok, which is amazing. Yes, yay, yay! We're at a thousand twenty-one. Yeah. I know, but we stuff. have to, once, once um, after Eid, inshallah, 
we're going to regroup. We're going to even do better things, inshallah. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think the next the next couple of days, oh, which leads me like right into my the next point for us is that there will be no new episodes next week because both Lena and I are going to take the next, the last week of Ramadan to focus on Ramadan and to focus on aid preparations as well. Yes. So definitely. it's, uh, yeah. So that's going to be, that's something really important. Like she has stuff she wants to do with her kids and I have stuff I want to do with my kids. And and it's the last week. And, and you know, this week. is, and I mean, like we've kind of like dragged our feet, not dragged their feet, but we've, we've struggled <laughs> the first three weeks. We have, we have. And so, so I we really got to focus. I really want to take week. the last 10 days, the last 10 days, especially to just mm -hmm. really, really be focused on Ramadan yeah. and on what I need to do on, on my worship and mm -hmm. like that. Those last 10 days really matter to me. So, yeah. 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 So, so there will be no new episode next week, but, but we'll see you guys after Eid. Yes, we'll definitely come back. Uh, it'll be May sometime. Yeah. yeah. No, inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. so, uh, Eid is May 1st, right? May 1st is Monday, right? I think it's Sunday. Yeah. May 1st is Sunday. I think oh, you're right. Sunday. So May 2nd, I believe. Yeah, May 1st. It's, it's either Sunday or Monday. I don't know. You know how that yeah, is. Every year we go through yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah. But it's according to Google, it's May 2nd. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it, yeah, it's the first or the second, something like that. Yeah. You, yeah, every, you're right. Every year. We yeah, every year we have this discussion. When is it? And like everyone, it's it's like, when is Ramadan going to start? When is Ramadan going to end? It's always great. Exactly. exactly. Um, so what else have you been doing? Nothing, really. Nothing. Yeah. The only work. thing I'm really looking forward to is my, um, my well, two things, washing my hair and make, drinking my coffee this okay, evening. Okay, see, when I spoke to you today, like we were texting, you look, oh my God, my hair is so oily, I look horrible. And I'm like, look at you, mashallah, look at you. Like, you're so, you're so full of it. My hair look really... Dude, really listen, like we're using... Um, I didn't want to pay the full subscription amount <laughs> for this program <laughs> we're using. So the maximum is 720. We're not even in HD. So, so no one's going to so know if it's look, oily or not. So is it going to look really pretty? Am I going to look like thin It looks too? amazing. I mean, thank you, you can still see my gray hair, but you're not going to see my it's upper okay. lip hair. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Thank God. When we all thank you for that service. Actually, if you wanted to rock your upper lip hair, I would not be mad at you. No. It's all good. I mean, it's not like I'm hairy or anything, but whatever. It's a joke. No, no, but I'm no. saying it, we're yeah. 720. We're not even 1080. We're not even 4K. Like, don't worry about it. Your hair looks amazing. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe eventually I'll upgrade to the higher plan and yeah, get yeah, the yeah. Uh, HD. But I'm like, we don't need that. And this is just temporary because until we meet up with each other. In person. Yeah, yeah, this was actually just, this format was just a lot easier for us during Ramadan. Yeah. It's hard between work and the house and everything to kind of cover the time only in Ramadan. But beforehand, it wasn't as bad. It's a good backup. It's a good backup. So we stay consistent. It is. When we can't meet up, we can at least, you know, get on exactly. and do this. Exactly. Um, it takes us a few minutes to get ready. Um, so uh, do you have any plans for Eid? Not yet. That's the other thing that I need to do during the last week is figure out. I mean, obviously, there's lots of things with family, right? You just you go see this person and mm -hmm. visit that person, visit that. Person. But any specific plans? No, not yet. Like nothing's okay. been hammered out just yet. So yeah, no, that's 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 all the excitement I have going on in my life. As you so can we see, we need to do some really... kids for Eid. I know we will. We will. They also have what school. is it? They're at school on Monday. I... No, I'm not sending them to school Monday. No, no, no. I'm not sending them to school on Monday either. I know, you know what, it's, it, it's, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that week because that's the, the week that we go back to the office, <laughs> that I oh, go back to the office. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's not easy. Because at, at the same time, like, they were, my office was awesome enough to not make me come in during Ramadan. Like, everybody mm -hmm. returned to work. And we're on a yeah. hybrid schedule anyway, but um, I'm just, like, not excited about going back. Like, there are some coworkers that I really love that I miss that I cannot wait to spend time with and see and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm just, I'm really happy working from home. Like exclusively Girl, working from home. Every time I go up those stairs or You're those like, elevators, <laughs> I'm just like, ya Allah, why am I here? Like, I know. Like, Alhamdulillah, I have a job. Like, I shouldn't complain. But I'm just like, I don't want to do this. Like, I, I just don't. Like, I liked working from home all the time. Like, can I just... I think, I think that's a huge thing for a lot of people is that they really <sighs> like working from home. And I really don't understand, like, why any company would force like a return to work. Like it really blows my mind. I mean, I, I think we're in the uh, minority because like just, I, it literally takes me 20 minutes to get to DC. Mm -hmm. There's no traffic. I mean, there's, that's one good thing out of it. You know, I, I there's really nothing. like any day, like not even Mondays or something or not even nothing. Fridays Unless there's or... like a car accident or something. That's from amazing. my place. 
to the office 20 25 minutes max and it used yeah. to take me like an hour 15 to an hour and a half sometimes before the pandemic when there was all this traffic so literally 20 minutes and i'm right there see that's wonderful like i love that i love the fact that like yeah. even even like the commute my commute is still kind of not the best like it could be better right mm -hmm. but i also think it's because i don't have like my drive into, I'm I'm going west, and I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of people just go in that direction. There's a lot that's out there now, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, and so I feel like that's why there's probably traffic. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised that the city doesn't have much traffic. I really no, am. no, alhamdulillah. I mean, like, like unless it's a Friday. I mean, even then, even then, like it depends because I leave early to pick up the kids yeah. too. So, so it's different. So maybe that's if I left work. a little bit later, but like going in, it's still, it's still fine. But anyway, um, Do you so see all this yawning, all this yawning. I know, I know. And I like, what do we have? We have like, what time is it? Like four hours left. Yeah, four hours left. Um, I, I'm gonna have to wash my hair before I go to the people's house tonight. Yeah, important. probably a good idea. Are you taking right. anything or are you just showing up? No, no, no. I'm going to take, I always take dessert or something with me. Okay. For that. Something for, with me for the host. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's you have good. to. It would be, I mean, even though it's somebody I know really well and I've been there a bunch of times, I just feel I like. Should, I should, yeah. I, I should tell people what you used to do back in the day when Hannah used to have dinner parties and she'd invite me. She's like, yeah, it's at six o'clock. And yeah. like, you know, typical, you know, <laughs> person who respects time, I show up at six o'clock and then like so nothing is ready. <laughs> and I'm just like, I end up helping Hanan prepare the food. And that happens to be like once, <sighs> twice, three times. I'm like, you know what, Hanan, I love you, but I will I'm be coming late like every everybody, else. everybody else. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Come on, you had fun. And no, it was great. I'm joking, but it's like, it never failed. Like I, I'm no. like, and I'd ask because, like, Hanan. You tell people six o'clock, and everybody shows up at like 7 30. Not up, man. I know. Notorious. But, but except except for if thought. Everybody shows up on time for Oh iftar. my god, no. For if thought, like one time I think we had I try to show up like maybe like 10 minutes early to just and it's so funny because we... every 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 culture is different, right? Like every mm -hmm. fasting culture is different. Um for us, like Arab, when you go, you're invited to someone's house, everything is on the table before iftar. Like everything, mm -hmm. everything yeah, is definitely. on the table before iftar. And then some other, like, mess some of my Pakistani friends, it's not like that. They have appetizers oh, really? out. They okay. eat, they break their fast. They eat something really small. They go suddenly, and then the food comes out. So mm. it's uh, it's interesting. I always think it's... um. It's... Well, what we do, like, for me, I'll be honest. Like, once it's out, I'm going to eat, and I'm done, and then I'll pray. Uh, no, I like to break my fast, pray Maghrib, yeah. and then eat because that's what Amjad I, does. Yeah, because I have, he, he, I have he food has, coma. I know myself. Yeah, he has soup first. Mm -hmm. He stops. He goes to pray, and then he comes back and he eats. So but by I, the time, yeah, 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 I feel him on that. I feel him on that because if I if I eat, sit down and eat everything, I'm gonna have food coma, and I I just I yeah. I'm not gonna get up. Like yesterday when we were sitting after we ate uh, after we we ate of thar. Like, you know, I, I made food and uh, Mahmoud did the dishes because he's mm -hmm. awesome because we share in this household our responsibilities. Yes. And then he came upstairs and Haram, it was like he he tried to stay awake and watch TikToks with me and the kids, but he could not. He's just. Yeah. Especially when you get up so early to go to work. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. It's yeah. hard. Like during the but weekend, I woke him up it's like a little bit. 20 minutes later. I had to. Yeah. Because then it's because then you you can't then your sleep's all messed up and, yeah. you know. Yeah, but like I said, if for them, it's like, and not to hate on anybody. I know your husband and my husband, they both help, but I'm just like, whatever, get out of here with that. Because like, he's, he's, he's on, he's already reading the Quran again. Like he already started. He's like halfway through, halfway through it again. Mashallah. Like, I'm happy you know him. what? Honestly, honestly. <laughs> and I'm still on Juzit 21. <laughs> okay, that's good. You're, but, you're, but you're on track. Yes, yes, I am. That's really good. But You're on track. He's on his second round. So okay. he's already not all of us can be overachievers. Okay. That's Some of true. us are just okay. So do you do you um do you have anything you want to say? Because we're not gonna see, we're not gonna do oh this. Oh my gosh. Uh... So so very important. Um, yes, I have like three things I want to say. So first of all, I want to say Ramadan Kareem. Enjoy the mm -hmm. last 10 days of, of Ramadan. I hope they go really well. And I hope you guys are focused on your ibadah and on your you know, just just 
the last 10 days of what Ramadan means and your preparations for Eid, so Eid Mubarak in advance. Two, last week I forgot to wish my friends who celebrated Easter a very happy Easter. So happy Easter. I hope you had uh, Eid Fusih Majid and I hope it was wonderful. And for my Orthodox friends who are celebrating Easter this Sunday, today's Good Friday, uh, happy Easter. I hope you guys have a blessed Easter. Um, I'm so, oh, and, and, and a happy Passover. Uh, because it's amazing because for like the first time, I think it's like in 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. um, I almost forgot Passover. All mm -hmm. of us are celebrating our holy um, like holidays together. So it's been 30 I love years. That. I, I thought we did that at one point in like during we, Christmas, wasn't it? It's, like like 30, it's been like 30 years or something. No. It feels like 30 years. <laughs> no, it's probably like, it can be 30. Really? It's like Damn, 30 we're years. old. Shit. It okay. feels like they're, yeah, it does. It feels like forever. But no, I just think it's really cool that like Passover and and Easter and Orthodox Easter and Ramadan and Eid all kind of converged are and are meeting like in the same time and space. So, mm -hmm. you know, happy holidays, everybody. Okay, so I just want to say Eid Mubarak to everybody. Uh, inshallah, you had a great Ramadan. Um, and the next time you guys see us or listen to us, uh, we'll both uh, be having our coffee yes. and we won't be so tired and broke looking <laughs> and, inshallah, and we'll be in person yes inshallah and we also we have we have a couple of things that we're going to be uh, planning you and I yes. Hanan in the next week since we're not recording we have to um, <laughs> do a couple of things you see this is what I have to deal with I'm always like Hanan we got to sit we got to do this so inshallah inshallah we have some really cool stuff coming up um, uh, and that's it Hope you guys awesome. have a great uh, Ramadan, great Eid, and we'll see you next time. Awesome. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.